Hey, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel again. <laughs> All right. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. And new subscribers, welcome to my channel. I'm Lissette, by the way. I appreciate you being here. All right. So, um, I think I'm going to do another Leo reading. So, let's see. That collective was just off the chain today. Oh, my God. But since today's Leo season and I'm a Leo, mm -hmm. and it's your birthday season, it's your birthday so let's see I think I'm going to do another reading for us um, I don't know what I did with the rest of my cards I put stuff away alright so I'll use these I haven't used these in a minute let's see what messages do we have for Leo messages do we have for Leo? What's going on for the Leo? Alright, try to forgive me. I'm a little sleepy. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What messages do we have for the Leos? Thank you. Alright, so we have the void. What is the void? Looking out into the abyss. Have faith. Okay. And peace. Are you void of thought, feeling? Don't don't go into the sunken place. We we can't be going there. No, I'm put it like this, sweetheart. You got a clean slate. Period. What is it that you want? Go after it. Don't focus on the things that you don't have, sweetheart. This is dark moon. Do I have this book over here? Hold on. And I do. Let's see what this is. Because I'm thinking this is new beginning, sweetheart. This is a number one. These are opportunities. Dark moon, your time rests and reset here. Release all that does not serve you. Stop resisting. The void is a time of possibility, not just darkness. Absolutely. See what I have to say. Okay. Uh, there is nothing to fear in letting go of negative patterns and habits. So let go of the old. Absolutely. That's what I'm talking about. See? See, I'll be thinking. I'll be thinking. All right. So like I said, sweetheart, this is... Y'all forgive me. This is a clean slate here, sweetheart. Okay? The void here. All right. So this is releasing things that... Um, like it says, you know, bad habits and things like that. Things that you know are not going to bring you abundance, happiness, love, uh, stability, and things like that, okay? So just basically wiping the, place, uh, the slate clean with this number one here and starting over. Having faith that you are going to um, bring into fruition whatever it is that you want and focusing on peace in your life. And in order to get peace in your life, you're focusing on the lessons that you've learned, the wisdom that you gain in order to move you forward, okay? All right, and you're also slaying any fears that you have here. So please know that you are birthing new things and and, and um, new ideas and a new persona. The new you is actually being um, born here, okay? So nurture yourself, take care of yourself, and uh, appreciate yourself, okay? Exactly where you are. All right, so anywho, I'm going to leave that alone. That was deep. Okay, let's see. All right, all right, all right. So um, I'm kind of hesitant to bring anything out about love. <laughs> I guess I will. Ooh. Do I want to pick up these cards again today? Let's see. Where is... Oh, here they are. All right, so I just want to see... What is a monology saying today? I think we got some of these earlier today, but I'm going to go ahead and do it again. I got to hurry up. I got to read them a little bit. Give me messages. Messages, messages. And for those of you that are new to my channel, again, I want to thank you. For those of you that have reached out and got readings from me, thank you. I appreciate you trusting me with the energy. And I hope I was able to give you some type of clarity, closure, or whatever it is that you needed, okay? All right, so let's see. Give me messages to Leo, please, and thank you. Can you not make this complicated? All right, confidence is key. 
thank you. Nothing will come of this situation. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> Show the world the real you. Oh my goodness. You know what? I should have like should have lit some Palo Santo up in here. What is this? I think I I cleansed after they read in too earlier. We're not trying to have no negative energy up in here. Oh my God. That was enough. All right, so let's see. <laughs> That's crazy. Give me messages for Leo, please, and thank you. All right, focus on the positive. Absolutely. Not dwelling on the things that happened in the past. Letting that go. Moving on. Seeing the positive about ourselves. Recognizing the negative, but focusing on the positive, okay? Trust all will be well. You shall get through this too. And as Maya says, this too shall pass. All right, so let's see. I guess I'll go ahead and get into the tarot. Let's see. What messages do we have for the Leos out here? You are showing up. What? Yes. Showing up, putting in that work on yourself, focusing on yourself right about now. All right. The things that matter. Let's see. Okay. Got a lot of opportunities that's coming towards you. Like I said, you're looking at the bright side of things. Um life is showing you all the things that you uh, have to be grateful for as well. The good, the bad, the ugly, and everything that's in between. There's been some life lessons learned here as well. All right. I see that you are kind of curious as a cat here. All right. Peeping into a little bit of everything. It's more or less like the door is here. Let me see what's behind it. Oh, this one's not for me. Okay. Hurry up and close that one next. All right, so like I said, there's going to be a lot of opportunities coming towards you, okay? You're definitely going to have the mental wherewithal and the, the maturity to know which one not to accept, okay? So we're not trying to repeat cycles here, especially if it was a bad experience, okay? So you've been working on yourself, like I said, also focusing on your stability, your pinnacles. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, being open. Um, to move and try new things, new opportunities as well. Yeah, whatever brings you happiness, stability is uh, what you're you're focusing on at this time. Like I said, you're peeking into these cups and, and treasure chests and see what's in it before you partake of it, okay? So uh, I think we've learned some things from the past. Take your time. Don't be rash. Go after what it is that you want. Continuously work on yourself. Build yourself up. All right. Whatever you're stressing off of, don't worry about it because it's not going to prosper. All right. Focus on the positive. Don't uh, think about the negative because when you, um, whatever you focus on, you're going to multiply. Okay. There's some type of good news coming towards you. Okay. This could be a relationship. This could also be money, okay? It just could be that, you know, you and your loved ones are doing well. Whatever this is, this is bringing you a smile. I like this, okay? So, yeah, it looks like you grounded. Doing all right, looking all right, smelling all right, focus on what you need to, okay? Having the courage and faith to move forward, to go to move forward, make changes in your life, transformation here, okay, so that you can have the Ten of Cups here, and this is what you're focusing on, what is close to you, um, your family, your loved one, your well-being here, okay, your growth and transformation, change, I like it, and for movement here, all right, give me more, please, for Leo, I like it, yes, look at you sitting here with the Nine of Pentacles, you better go, boy, you go, girl, and look at you. Look at you. I'm just saying. Showing up here twice. Equally balanced masculine and feminine energy working together in sync. Yes. All right, focusing on the good, but being aware that that other side, the other side that we don't like to talk about is there. Okay. But we working on that part. 
working on even balance here. After all, you're a spiritual being having a human experience. So, you know, prone to error. We're still growing. We're still learning here. But I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, I'm kind of sleepy. Let's see. <laughs> Give me messages here. Give me messages here for this king of wands. Do diligence. Okay, so you know what? There may have been some things in the past that you were like, I won't say immature, but yeah, immature. Kind of like a, a, a baby cub here, okay? There's some things that you had to go through throughout life. Who does not? Um, that may have seemed like a burden here, but in actuality, it helped you grow. It helped you prosper. It helped you mature, um, especially when it comes to your uh, spiritual growth here. You literally went in. Oh, my God. And I wanted to say ass and elbows. That's all you wanted to see. That's all you saw. You working hard, okay, doing what you need to do. Um, going within, digging up all those old skeletons and things like that and dealing with it, okay, and putting it to rest one situation at a time, okay, so that you can focus on healing here and do, do what you need to do in this lifetime. All right, for yourself and others. And no matter how ugly it got, you didn't stop until you reached your level that you're trying to get, that you were trying to get to. And it took you to actually maneuver in and out of different situations. You had to be very strategic, methodical, and plan out your your every step and every move. And there are some obstacles that were in the way, things that came in the way that you weren't expecting, but you overcame them as well. There is some roadblocks that are still here, but the thing is, is like I said, you're not focusing on the negative. You have an agenda here, and that's to heal, to move forward, to prosper, to heal um, those that come behind you. So no matter what, you're putting in the work. All right, and some of you are manifesting relationships as well with this healing too. All right, so let me have one more, please. Thank you. All right, judgment. Yeah, so your decisions that you are making here are actually going to pay off in your future, okay? With um, making sound judgment here. And I also look at your, you know, look at your past too, and I kind of see that you were judging yourself very harshly. This is one of the things that, um, and this is not a bad thing, um, in this instance here, because I do see, um, because you were willing to go within and look at that dark side, that shadow side, um, you made a determined effort to change here, to move forward, to prosper, okay, um, to change who you are, to, to dominate that wild side, that dark side that you have. And it was definitely a power struggle between you and you, okay? So that you can actually come into balance here. And one of the things that I do see is that that was self-acceptance here. All right, realizing that we do have some unhealthy traits here, but willing to, <clears throat> excuse me, do the word, do the work and subdue them, okay? Taking control over those um, impulses and things like that, that shadow side here. All right, so let's see. Give me more information about the Seven of Cups here, please, and thank you. Okay, so, wow. I like this. This is funny because it lands over here on the Queen of Wands here. With the Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Okay, I get it. With the Queen of Wands and the hangman okay and also the moon so like i said there were some things that you actually had to dive deep in within yourself okay looking in to those treasure treasure chests those those boxes and cups and things like that what baggage have you picked up over the years what hurt what pain have you um acquired what have you went through that you're still holding on to all right so it kind of seems like you're going through a purging um, experience right here. Looking at things from a different perspective, a lot of things must have come up here with the moon that made you feel some type of way as well because you were possibly holding on to resentment, hurt, and pain that you didn't realize that was there 
but within doing with doing shadow work it actually shines the, the the light on the things that are actually bothering you deep within that you have no idea about until you get upset or angry and then you know what comes out of the mouth is what's in your heart okay so here at one point in time being the queen of wands here i see that there was a lot of things that were holding you back and there was messages trying to get in sources trying to send you things or whatever you know hey you need to deal with this you need to deal with this this is popping up again you need to deal with it and finally you said okay you know what i'm going to re recognize you better red recognize <laughs> i'm going to recognize that there are some things here that are weighing me down that are that's a burden that i've been carrying around with me okay some things came to the light like i said and you're needing to do the work here okay so in order for you to prosper and move on without all these heavy burdens so like i said you took the leap of faith and told source um check this out i think i'm ready i know what you've been pushing me to do and i'm ready to do that now and i need your help and a source helped uh, stepped in and helped heal that heart and helped you move forward here okay so you took a lot of time and you invested in yourself and now i see that not only have you invested a lot of time in yourself you're coming back to self getting to know you again almost like a new being here learning what it is that you love about yourself and some of the things that um you might have picked up along the way not being funny this is kind of weird but you'd be surprised at the things that um you pick up from other people i was in a long-term relationship for 16 years and there was this one dish that my ex loved i couldn't stand it but even four years after we broke up i was still cooking this and then one day and it was really sad because yeah i know it was wasteful but it was like 20 dollars worth of food and i looked at it and i was like you know what why am i eating this crap i hate this you know what I mean? And never liked it, but it was something that that person's mom, you know, used to fix all the time. And I hated this crap. So I went and took the whole pot and just chucked it out. I don't have to eat this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of like, you know, you pick up habits and stuff like that um, by the people that you're around. And, and sometimes you don't realize it until you're like, wait a minute, hold up. This isn't even me. You know what I mean? So, yeah, sometimes it comes time for you to realize that certain people rub off on you in ways that you would never, um, never guess. Okay, so this is what you're doing here is you're coming back to self, getting to know you as a spiritual being and also a human being as well. What you like, what you don't like, what you'll tolerate, what you're not going to go for and all that. And also knowing your limits and your triggers here as well. All right, so I see that there's going to be a lot of celebration happening here, a lot of, you know, family time, spending time with friends. I see that you're going to be letting some things go, leave it in the past and moving forward. I like this in which you're opening up. You're manifesting someone new in your life as well, okay? All right, so let's see. Okay. Oops. All right, yeah, so we got the tower in reverse here. So, and with the nine of pentacles on the bottom of the deck, we're definitely trying to avoid any type of dramatic situations. We got a lot of peace coming in our lives and things like this, a lot of abundance, a lot of happiness. I like it. And you're avoiding situations that are like traumatic, drama-filled, even when it comes to people that are like, wanting to bring strife and drama and all that into your life you're you're not even about that life sweetheart no we're not having that what you will not do is bring destruction into my life after i worked so hard to get you know my own self self-destructive ways under control so this is what you're avoiding here the drama the calamity the the he say she say the bs you understand what i'm saying so you're blocking this out the only person that you're in competition with is your old self, sweetheart. All right, and it took a long time for this to come through because you were holding on to some things in the past that did not serve your highest good. Now, I think also with these situations, you're starting to see why it occurred and why certain people were actually in your life at the time that they were. All right, so let's see. What else do we have for Leo? Successfully moving forward, determined to move forward. 
determined to have happiness and peace in your life. Only having people around you that actually work well with you. Mm. All right. If they're working against you, they got to go. I'm just sorry. Yes. And concentrating on moving forward here. Taking control over your life here. Trying not to be too arrogant, but sometimes, you know, people kind of push you there. And I'm not saying that that's a good thing. That might be something we got to work on still, too. I'm just saying. <laughs> we can't be perfect, okay? We just try to be where we're not. So, anyway, some people might not understand you. They might feel that you're very rigid or whatever. But what they fail to realize is that, sweetheart, so to speak, you were suffocating down here. You were suffocating under a lot of hurt, pain, being misunderstood, being mistreated, and possibly mistreating others because you weren't happy here either. I'm just keeping it 100. Okay. Um, could have been not the nicest person when you kind of hurt and things like that. Sometimes people lash out when they're hurt, but recognizing that there's work that needs to be done, sweetheart, wanting to heal your heart, knowing that God has something special in store for you, all right? So you're taking the time to heal, heal thyself, heal thy soul, you understand? And forge ahead for a new path for yourself here, all right? And the difference is, is now when you move, you're moving with intention instead of impulse, okay? So you're thinking about everything and the consequences of your actions and things like this when you move ahead. All right. So with that being said, there's enough on that. I'm almost kind of afraid to ask about anything else. Because, yeah, these readings get kind of crazy sometimes. I'm just saying. All right. So let's see. Now that we're working on us, <laughs> let's see what's going on with this love situation. Oh, my God. I just heard, give it time. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we may have to wait a little bit for the love situation. We still got some work to do on us. I get it. <laughs> All right. So let's see. What messages do we have for Leo and love? Okay. I swear if this comes out bad, I'm editing this video. <laughs> All right, so it says worth waiting for. Dare I pull another card? Stay optimistic about your love life. Okay. Oh my God, see, look. We got separation here. Oh my God. Okay, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So some of you actually may actually be in, um, be actually, actually, oh my God. Some of you actually may be in separation from your partner right now. And source is telling you maybe both you and this person have some work to do on yourselves. Okay, this could also be you not um, recognizing who your partner is yet. Okay. You may have met this person, but may not have come together um, at this particular time, okay? So you might be aware of this person, but are not thinking of this person in a love interest. Or it could be that maybe this person is not in your life yet. Oh, Lord Jesus. Okay, so heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Okay, so at least you and this person will be able to communicate Thank God. We're going to leave that right there. Because my goodness. That was getting ready to get real. All right. So let's see. What's happening with this connection with this person for Leo? All right. So Source is telling you to be patient, sweetheart. Focus on your happiness. What brings you joy and abundance here? Fill your own cup, sweetheart. Um... One of the things that I can say, you know, um, when you don't focus on it, that's when it starts coming out the woodworks. I don't know about for y'all, but when you take it off the table, <laughs> that's when you start getting all these offers and meeting people and all this other stuff. And um, 
I got to tell you, if any of y'all in Texas, you will not have any problem meeting anybody, okay? So, there's that. So, get out and mingle. <laughs> so, I'm just saying. All right. And then, uh, that's for those of you that are looking for a relationship, okay? But, like I said, you know, pour in your own cup. Be patient. Things are going to balance out for you right now. I think there is some more stuff that you possibly need to uh, fine-tune, you know, with source, Okay. So, yeah, there's a little bit more growth and things like that that you have as well. So, just be patient. It's actually coming for you. You might actually find people kind of fighting over you. I mean, like, I won't say fighting over you, but there might be multiple people that are interested in you. And you might have to make a decision here, sweetheart, who you, you know... <sighs> But who are you going to give your time to? I'm just saying. Because my gosh. Yeah. I I see this. Okay. What did I just say? Some of these you're actually going to hold back from. You might have to find some, some nice way to say, you know, um, you cool people. But yeah. I don't know about you, but I don't particularly like dealing with a bunch of people at one time. But yeah. Anywho, that's a bit, a lot of energy for me. But I think someone that's going to come in in your life and bring you balance as well, which is really a trip because we got the Queen of Swords. Why well, I say Queen of Swords? Queen of Wands that just showed up after the King of Wands. So this is what you're waiting for. You're being patient. You know you're still working on yourself here as well. You're not just going to accept any old body that comes into your life. You possibly are getting approached by a lot of people right now and just like swapped them left and right. No, thank you. No, thank you. Uh, no, thank you. I'm not interested right now. Um, and not, I won't say you're not interested right now. It's possibly the type of people that are approaching you and how they're approaching you and things like that, that may kind of be like, yeah, no. So you're kind of holding back right now. Not really in a rush to get into a relationship because someone here realizes that they still have some healing to do. So things are going to balance out. You are holding, holding off, keeping kind of keeping to yourself right now. Um, I got to keep it real. Some of you may be celibate until you find someone that, you know, balances your energy or at least comes in with uh, equal energy. Oof, my goodness. And we got the King of Wands showing up here too on the bottom of the deck. Oh, so we got the Queen of Wands, sorry, on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so with the King of Cups here. Okay, so even though some of you may not show it, some may not show it. They might see this exterior here, this. Okay, this is what people might see on the outside. But what some people do not, they don't know, is that your heart is broken here. Okay, so you're still healing from a situation here as well. Okay, so still healing from a situation. So this is another reason why you're not rushing into a situation here either. You're focused on healing your heart, bringing balance into your life, focusing on your, your mental, physical, and spiritual stability here. And you want someone that matches your energy because you're not trying to get your heart broken or disappointed again, okay? So until then, you are happy, abundant, single, doing your thing, and healing, okay? In spite of what's going on here, yes, I still see that you are happy. I said you're happy, damn it. Now. <laughs> All right, so let's see. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, I got to get ready to get started. All right, so let's see. Give me more information. All right, Nine of Pentacles, King of Cups, absolutely focusing on yourself, emotionally mature, not letting anything knock you off balance, keeping your emotions in check. Yes, I like it. 
Focusing on that self-love, self-care. Ooh, look at this. Balance. I like it. Emotionally balanced. Yes. Focusing on self-love, self-care. Like I said, pampering yourself. Doing whatever it is that you need to do to bring you peace. Okay. <laughs> like I said, okay. So with these people coming towards you, sweetheart, um, some of these people may show up out of the blue, okay? Some people that you may not even had a clue about, okay? And I think it's going to be more than one at a time. And pretty much it kind of like nothing is really kind of like stirring your interest. So you may definitely close this out. I'm not even trying to hear this. Okay, move yourself into common waters because this is drama. This is drama. I don't see how people could juggle a whole bunch of damn people. That that That's nerve-wracking. Like, seriously. So I see that you're going to take control over this situation. Not allow these people to drive you crazy, okay? If it's not worth you looking at, then you're not even going to deal with it. You'll be quick to bypass some folks. All right, so let's see. Yeah, you want justice, equality, something that's balanced, equal. And you're going to keep working on yourself to bring balance into yourself, focusing on healing. Also, self-satisfaction here, there's a certain level of... of How should I say? Not prosperity, but a certain level of success. And I won't even say success. There's a certain level of, how can I put this? Like you want your finances in a certain way. There's a lot of things that you want to fix in your life before even incorporating someone um, very serious in your life. You would like a relationship, but you know that you got some stuff to do over here in spite of a relationship, okay? On your own, your person. Give me more, please. Yeah, like, what did I say? Man, you're going to be quick to walk away from some stuff, from some people, because it's disappointing. You're focusing on stability. You're not trying to have anybody come into your life that is going to try and bring you backwards. Okay. Have you revert back to anything? Yeah, what did I say? You're not trying to deal with anybody that's non-committal that's going to have you worried and stressed out here. You want balance. You understand what I'm saying? If they're not coming in with that and they're leading in with this, oh no. You're not about to let them uh, mess up your foundation. All the hard work that you've done. Yeah, so you're using your intuition here. And also, if you notice that someone is breadcrumbing and doing whatever, you will be quick to uh, to ghost this person. Not even ghost this person, but just tell this person, no, thank you. Yeah. Oh, no. Are you attracting someone like this? Who's this? Give me this. Okay, so like I said, you've invested your time and energy in someone who, a connection that ended up disappointing you here. So you're not doing this anymore. You're focusing on you, being selfish with you, going after what it is that you want. Some people may think you have gone cold, but they have no idea why. So you're pretty much showing up as the King of Wands and the King of Swords here. That passion, that drive is still there. You're going after what it is that you want, but you're not giving any type of energy to it until you figure out if it lines up with you. All right, so it's worth waiting for. 
I do believe that when you meet this person, you find this person, you will have a heart to heart conversation with this person to let them know exactly where you're coming from. And hopefully they will give you that in return. I do believe that you and your partner has have not met yet. Um, I think that this is someone that's coming up towards you later on in the future, because I still see that there's a lot of stuff that you want to get done within. OK, so um yeah, now I understand why it says nothing will come of this situation. Um, possibly because there is no one there in this connection yet. The connection is with you and Source right about now, okay? So I think you need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with Source about this situation and everything else that you want to get started in your life. And trust that all will be well. This is going to work out for you very well. As a matter of fact, I, I really think so. And in spite of whatever the hurt, the pain that it is that you went through, the disappointment, um, the players, the noncommittals, the whatever it is that you went through, sweetheart, focus on the positive because, and I know I hate to say it, but there was a reason for everything. This has actually sparked you to grow as a spiritual being here. So um, tap into that positive energy and like you've been doing. Keep doing the work, sweetheart, and just wait for source. You understand? Work on yourself. So and show the world the real you. And this is what you're doing by getting to know yourself again, knowing what you want, knowing your boundaries, knowing your triggers and things like this. This is actually helping you grow and keeping it 100 with everybody around you. Because I think before you might have been kind of masking some of who you are now i gotta tell you some people ain't gonna like it and that's their issue let them have it all right but you do what's best for you boo okay and be your authentic self so anyway happy healing you take care all right bye <laughs> that wasn't so scary <laughs>